fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, well here we are again. The latest release. Now, this one's from E-Flight. And just like the rest of you out there, I'm mystified as why a Park Zone Corsair is now a E-Flight, but that doesn't matter. They've released it as an E-Flight one. It's the UMX F4U Corsair. It's got the AS3X system on it and uh, different prop. They've uh, put long throw servos onto the wings, so onto the hour on. So um, let's get it out the box and have a look. Packed in the box as always, you get your charger. It's just the uh, one that takes batteries. Let's get it out and have a look. Okay, as I was saying, you get a battery charger. It's the one that four AA batteries go in, so you can take it anywhere with you. The battery just slots in there. You get the 1S battery. It's only the 25C battery, uh, 150 milliamps. Now, it flew fine on this because we've already seen it fly and it flew fine on this but if you've got one of the new 150 1S 45C batteries it flies much better on these. Most of us have got these ones or better batteries if you uh, go for the Hyperion or the Mini Aviation the old Babble Bats they're all good so whatever you go for but I quite like these E-Flights at the moment. The 45C is a pretty good battery. You get your manual as always, usually underneath the box. And of course, the new plane. Now, this one has got a little bit of damage. Uh, it was flown indoors before I got it. This prop just bent into it. The prop didn't bend anything. It hasn't changed anything. This is the new prop. It uh, looks a little different and it flies just beautiful. The finish on this is really nice, this plane. The scale details, pretty good. You've got the new AS3X long throw servos underneath here. Pretty good. Plenty of room to move your battery around if you need to. And as I said, the scale detail on this is very nice. Very nice indeed. Again, no pilot. I don't know why they don't just stick a little pilot head in there just to finish it off. But apart from that, very nice. I'm going to bind it to my DX9. Okay, I've bound it to my DX9. Now we all know how to bind. You just attach the battery to that, turn on your transmitter holding down your bind button and you bind. It did take me three times to bind this one. Some of these Ultra Mitros do, but it always seems to work. Walk about six foot away, don't face it, and then try the binding. It binds every time. Don't know why, but it did take me a couple because I know people have had that trouble before. Anyway, she's all bound. Look, no AS3X yet. Let's move the throttle. Now we've got our AS3X. Let's see what she sounds like, that motor. With the new three blade prop. Fairly smooth. It flew very nice indoors when we saw her. As soon as we can get out and get a fly, I'm gonna get out and fly it because the weather here at the moment is atrocious. It's uh, winter here and we've had 100 kilometer hour winds and it's really been blowy and everything. So as soon as I get a chance, I'll get out and maiden it. I'd just like to say thanks to Mike again from OMP Model Flight. He uh, surprised me really. I just went down to film. I heard that they were having the uh, new Corsair at the indoor session. So I thought I'd go down and get a film of it for you so you could see it fly indoors. And he offered me to bring it home and do this video and the maiden. So keep an eye out for that maiden. It'll uh, be on the end of this one. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the maiden. Catch you soon, guys. Bye.
Okay, here we are. We're outdoors. We've had nothing but rain. Everything is flooded here. I'm going to have to take off from this here car park and land here. The wind's just died. It's late afternoon in winter. The new Corsair from E-Flight, the UMX. Let's see how it goes outside. Here we go. This is on high rates. There you go, it flies nice and level. Rolls beautifully. Hasn't got much up bump. But then again, it's an ultramite boat. It's not a 2S bird. Flies inverted. Them long throw servos really make it a uh, roll quick. This is really easy to fly. It's like all the Corsairs. I think they're really easy to fly, the Corsairs. And this one's another beauty. Okay, let's slow her down and see how she goes slow. We were going quite fast then. So she handles well in the slow as well, just flies along, look at that. Open her up. Okay, I'm going to have to land her back out there on the, the earth. It's pretty soggy here. Might have to go round. We missed that one. Okay, come on again. Okay, well there you have it. Thanks to Model Flight, OMP, Mike down there, gave me this at the indoor the other night to bring home and do a flight for us. We have had rotten weather, it's winter here, and we've had some rotten weather, but the weather came good just on five o'clock tonight as it's getting dark. We got out, I'm just having the one battery, you've seen it, it flies fine. It flies just like a 1S plane should do, and uh, very scale looking as well, enjoyed that. I think they'll be available real soon. I think you're all going to enjoy them, the people who are into the 1S uh, Warbirds. This is another classic in the line. Thanks all for watching. Catch you soon.